going on YouTube, GeoSnowRate here. So in today's video I'm going to show you how to use AnyTrans in order to transfer the data from your iPhone, iPad or iPod Touch directly to your computer and vice versa. Now this program is actually so much better than iTunes because it allows you to easily transfer the data without going through hoops like making backups and extracting the file from a backup and stuff like that. You're gonna see what I mean in a couple of seconds. The program itself is available on the imobi.com slash AnyTrans and it's available for both Windows and Mac OS. And it's actually all you need in order to basically manage your device and the data on it, like photos and contacts and music and everything. So this essentially allows you to back up even the messages and the application content and stuff like that. You can even do iOS backups, go from Android to iPhone or iPhone to Android and so on. So it's actually a quite versatile program. The program itself looks like this once you install it and you have to connect your device first. Now if you never trusted your computer, you're gonna have to press trust on the home screen of your device and that's basically it. Your device should now be able to connect no problem to the computer. And you can see here it actually works pretty fine. This is the device and it has the drag and drop file feature over here. So I have for example this image over here that I have prepared. It's basically a wallpaper of sorts. So if I drag it and drop it over here, that's basically it. We press next and it goes directly to the phone. It's as easy as that if you want to transfer files from the computer to the device. And that works with multiple kinds of files. You can drag and drop photos, music, PDF, videos and so on to the device and it will go directly to the device to the appropriate category. Now if you press in here on more you can actually get all the photos and stuff like that and you can browse the device by file type. For example you have the books in here, you have Safari, you have podcasts, voice memos, calendar, contacts and notes and so on. You can even manage the data on your iCloud account. That's completely SSL secure, they're Apple certified developer and they do follow the latest security standards for transferring the data. Now if you want to backup your device you can easily go here to backup device and you have the backup now option and there are a couple of options here that you will never find in iTunes or Finder and so on and that is basically the incremental backup which is basically creating a backup only to the files that were not present in the previous backup because there's no point into creating another backup of what you already have. iTunes and Finder will essentially create the same backup like 300 times because iTunes doesn't keep track of what files are already backed up to the computer and what files are not. But if you enable this here on the AnyTrans, it will only back up the files that are not already backed up to the computer. So I'm going to press backup now and it will create an initial backup containing everything from the device and then every time I do a backup it will compare what already is backed up on the computer compared to what is new on the device and only back up those, essentially saving you a lot of space. And here is essentially everything I backed up. It's going to load the backup directly into AnyTrans, which iTunes cannot do iTunes for example will not be able to open its own backups, it can restore them to the phone but you cannot browse them, you need third party software for that. Well in my case I can do that with no problem, I can just select the backup over here, press open and that's it, here's everything inside that backup, all the photos and everything. And if I only want this photo for example over here, I can press to Mac and it will export the file to Mac with no problem in a lossless format. And this is it, this is the photo and as you can see it doesn't lose any bit of detail because it actually is transferred in lossless format. Now that's for the backups but if you press content to Mac over here and you select all the photos you press next it's going to transfer the photos directly to your Mac with only a couple of clicks. You press view files and that's it all the photos are already in a folder so you don't even have to open the AnyTrans program to browse photos and home videos and screenshots and stuff like that which is the beauty of this program. But those are not the only features it has. You have the media library here, you have the iCloud manager which allows you to manage everything on iCloud and of course you probably noticed that many of the files that you actually back up from the device are in a weird HEIC format which is Apple's format for their photos. Yes it makes for pretty good photos as you can see from here you can actually zoom quite a lot and the photo will remain clear, it packs a lot of information inside the photo but it's not a format that you will be able to open on Windows for example without additional tools. Well if you want to convert them to a more popular format there is an HEIC converter over here inside AnyTrans. You just open it, 
drag and drop the photo, and that's it. You select the format you want it, like JPEG, JPG, or PNG. You select the quality, and if you want to keep the EXIF data, like the camera, you know, geolocation and stuff, and you press convert. And then of course you select where you want it to be saved, and that's it. It will convert in a couple of seconds, and there you go, you now have a JPEG format of that photo with the same quality and so on. So it's actually quite versatile, it has a lot of tools packed in there, including a ringtone maker or screen mirroring and so on. So I would definitely advise you to go ahead and try the AnyTrans program. There is a free trial available if you want to check it out for both Windows and Mac OS, and it supports iOS 15 as well. So definitely give it a try, especially if you have a lot of files and you do a lot of back and forth between your computer and your device. Trust me, it's so much better than iTunes. Thank you for watching, I am Geosnow, peace out.